Good morning, YouTube. It's Ryan from Hashtag Bitter Basement. <laughs> it's Saturday. Time for Saturdays with RNA. Come along and check out our day. Alrighty, so we had breakfast. <laughs> that was a quick breakfast. And uh, now I'm on my way to the shop, except first I have to go to the bank and deposit a check that I've been holding and uh, get that taken care of. And then I'll be headed to the shop to open up RNA Music for this Saturday, which has just started raining, which, you know, when I'm looking at my weather app on the phone, it doesn't say anything about rain. But apparently we got some rain, which I'm actually okay with. That kind of cools it off a little bit. So, headed to the bank. See you guys at RNA Music. Well, the rain has stopped. I'm here at RNA Music. Been here for been here for about an hour already. Come on in. There's the light. I sold a bunch of strings and picks and drumsticks and uh, accessories already early. First hour of business, accessories. Let me just give you some advice. If you own a guitar store or a music store, I was talking to uh, Garrett Hendry, who's out in West Monroe, Louisiana yesterday. He has a music store called, um, what's it called, Garrett? My brain just slipped. Victory music? <laughs> And uh, we were just talking, I said, hey man, you know, accessories are where it's at because you may not sell a guitar every single day, you know, unless you're Sweetwater or, you know, Guitar Center. And not every Guitar Center sells a guitar every single day, let me just tell you that. Guitar Center as a company probably sells one or two or three or five or ten a day, but, uh, you know, a single store may not sell a guitar every single day, believe it or not. But accessories are always in demand. Picks, strings, straps, microphones, cables, that kind of stuff. You're always, always selling that stuff. So, so I'm doing some computer work, cleaning up my laptop, and uh, hopefully getting ready to shoot some videos. I want to try to do some demos today, but that's always a, uh, it's always a trick, right? You know, I've already had five or six different people in this morning. Saturdays, I'm here by myself usually. Uh, Angela's at home with our kids uh, doing stuff. And she has her own thing she's doing on Saturday. She got her own thing. And the boys, part of it. <laughs> My kids will laugh at that. So I'm here by myself on Saturdays most of the time. So it's hard to start shooting a video and then customers come in and you know. So it's always a trick to get like demo video shot. But we'll see what, we'll see what happens. All right, back to work. I just finished editing a video about how to develop riffs. If you're writing your own riffs and maybe you've got one you like, but it's not quite um, all the way finished, I guess you might say, or developed. So uploading a video right now. So here we go, this is uploading. Should be up in just a little bit. I guess you'll actually probably see this video before you see our vlog today. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Look who came to join me. Finally. What are you getting ready for? Play practice. Play practice. Yes. What are you doing? Brand TDs? Yes. So that they can have their music. Nice. Yay! So excited. So I've excited. been selling strings and sticks and picks. Yeah. And things. Things. Stuff. Things. Thanks. Sweet. I know, right? Yay. Ready to play some guitar though. He comes in you practice. Yes. It's going to be hot. A little bit. Don't know if I can we'll go. We'll have fans on. Don't know if I can go if it's going to be hot. Okay. It's not too bad, honestly. Because I'm a big grizzly bear. <laughs> yeah. That. Well, it is time to close the store for the day. I just got all my stuff set up to shoot videos. Check this out. My video lights, video lights, my uh, Canon T5i. Got the MacBook and PreSonus audio box. Capturing audio from the uh, Mesa Boogie Dual Rack. Got an SM57. 
I was about to start shooting some demo vids, but uh, we're closed. And uh, last Saturday, I didn't get a chance to go out and watch uh, Angela do her play practice with our kiddos that were doing a RNA Music Summer Musical, which is a it's a musical, so it's like a drama. There's acting, there's singing, all that, and they're having a rehearsal right now. So I'm gonna go check that out, and uh, you know, be there to kind of see if they need any help, get a little video. Then I'll probably come back uh, this evening. Um, late afternoon, early evening, and maybe do some demo videos. I hope. I hope so. I'm gonna go get my little helper, Aiden. He's here with me, and then we're gonna go check out, see what uh, mom is doing with the musical kids. Modern art. I'm so excited. This is actually the same place that we have our recitals for our uh, student music recitals. We rent their building and their sound system and all that. We've got the, they've got the perfect setup. So we just finished watching Ghostbusters. Is it Ghostbusters 3 or Ghostbusters it's Girls or reimagined reboot Ghostbusters? So if it was Ghostbusters 3, then the original cast would have been. I had the original cast. Mm -hmm. They're part. They're people, but they weren't. It was the lady reboot. It was the lady reboot. What'd you think? It was good. I thought it was better than people said it was. Yeah. Definitely not as good I as the original. I was worried with Melissa McCarthy that it was going to be filthy. Yeah. You know, there's a few scenes in the original that were kind of not for Pepper. children, <laughs> so I I was expecting it to be a lot worse than it was. Pepper's moving my camera. And it had Chris Hemsworth in it. Yeah. You loved it. Wait, out! I, I loved it. His, was his character was so dumb, though. It, they could have gone without it. What did you think about the Thor cameo? It was terrible. You shut your mouth. <laughs> they totally disrespected Thor. Well, at least he was in it. And the fact movie. that he summoned a sandwich, like Thor. <laughs> I wish I could summon sandwiches. <laughs> no, you don't. You exactly. wish you could summon me on here. I wish I could summon some pizza right now. Oh, Jerry's oh. Pizza? Jerry's Pizza. Yes. To me! <laughs> I can't even sit on the couch once without, you know. What are you doing? Stop licking everything. Oh, jeez, I'm getting my hands. Stop licking. I can't. I can't. I can't. She's like, I'm gonna lick you harder. Awkward. Awkward. Well, I am mighty. <laughs> and I'm back at the shop. I had to come back. I never made it back to um, do some more demo videos. <laughs> After we went to the musical practice. Um, then we stopped by, I had the boys with me, we stopped by to see Paul, the bitter bass player, and chat for a few minutes. Then we came home, family time, cooked dinner, just finished dinner, in a movie, and yeah, it's 9 o'clock and I'm just now getting back to the shop, but it's a little too late to start doing videos and such. It can be time consuming to, um, you know, try to make some super high quality demo vids, right? Just playing and recording and getting everything synced together and all that, and it's just... It's just too late right now for that. So I'm gonna try to do some tomorrow. I may even shoot them at the house in my little home office. See how that goes, if I can decorate it nicely enough. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna get uh, my gear, uh, cameras, laptop, and the guitars that I wanna play tomorrow and take them home. So yeah, long day. Our uh, 
RNA Music CMG Custom was on the list today to get some more demo videos done. Sorry, CMG Custom didn't happen. I wanted to do some CMG stuff and some heritage stuff and the Acacia stuff. I even had my cheat notes with all the specs for the heritage guitars. So nice, but we'll see what happens. Maybe I can get some done tomorrow. We just finished watching Fists of Fury with Bruce Lee and Robert Baker. That was awesome. And now it's bedtime. You guys have a great weekend. Keep the music alive. Talk to you soon.